Hi, and welcome to this course on Astro and Strapi. My name is Tamash, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. A little bit about myself, you can find me on a tpiros.dev, or you can follow my YouTube channel as well, which is called Web Dev Frontiers. And I've been in the IT industry for over 25 years, mostly doing developer education and developer relations. So in this particular course that you are watching, we are going to take a look at how to work with Astro, a popular front-end framework, in conjunction with Strapi, an equally popular headless CMS. As part of the workshop that you're going to watch, we are going to take a look at the very basics of Astro, followed by the basics of Strapi, and we are going to be building an application together. Let me show you the application that we're going to be building, kind of highlighting you the features of the app, and then we're going to start with an introduction to Astro. And here I have my browser open where you can see the front page of the application. It is going to be a fan site for the Harry Potter universe, and we're going to be putting the individual pieces together for this application together. You can see there's a home page, there's an blog which is a blog written in English and you can see there are a couple of articles you can of course click into these and then you can see the actual article content but also notice we have a blog with the Spanish language and this particular feature is going to be enabled by Strapi's internationalization APIs, so we're going to learn about that as well. And of course, all these articles that you see here are going to be written in Spanish. The entire app is generated using Astro. So if you are ready, let's jump straight in and start with the basics of Astro.